Heer Ranja is a famous folklore love story from Punjab, India. It was the time when love before marriage was a sin too great to be forgiven. But still, in a small village of Chang, where wealthy ruled with pride and tradition, there lived a young man named Ranja, who dared to love. Ranja was a soul filled with passion for music. Playing Bansuri was the only escape from all the tiring and suffocating expectation from his skin. Ranja, the youngest in his family, was adored by his father, filling his life with peace, love and affection. However, his peace crumbled when he lost his father, turning his life upside down. Conflicts became a common occurrence with his brothers each passing day and even his bhabhi refused to serve him any food. Ranja could no longer endure his skin harsh behavior and left the house, filled with sorrow and frustration. Wondering Ranja, sorrowful thoughts got interrupted by a group of women laughing together. He gazed towards the sound and saw her. Her smile as of music made his heart flustered. She was a daughter of a wealthy family. Her every move was to end her every word vague. However, Ranja's heart knew no greater joy, no fear from the first time his eyes saw her. He decided to become her household servant so he could stay close to her. Time passed and Ranja's love for her grew stronger. He didn't know what to do, his heart aching from pain and love for her. He expressed his untold emotion through his bansuri, unaware that someone had been listening to his sorrowful music and been smitten by it. One evening, as he was playing his bansuri by the river, he approached him, questioning about his feelings. Ranja was shocked to see him, but couldn't hide his true feelings and answered her, and he listened to him. That night, both found at peace in each other's company and marked the starting point of their love story. They used to meet in secrets to avoid praying questions in the same spot, shared promises to be together forever while enjoying their tender moment. This secret love affair went for years until one cruel fateful day, her uncle discovered about them and told her family about their love. Her parents were angry and disappointed in her. They announced her marriage to another girl from the same status as them, discarding her feelings and ignoring her pleas. Soon, he was forced to an unwanted marriage but had no choice due to the weight of her family expectations. Desperate and heartbroken, Raja gave up on the world and became Jogi, hoping to forget the pain of his lost love. Time passed and Raja, now a wandering Jogi, reached to the very place he got married. After seeing he, who is now married yet is still in love with him, couldn't control his surfaced emotions. Thus, both decided to run away together from everything and everyone. But fate had other plans. When he family got to know about their intention, they pretended to accept their love only to betray them at the end. On the wedding day, her uncle gave her a poisoned laddu. He ate it, realizing too late, her lifeless body collapsed on the ground. Shocked Ranja called her name so loud that it it echoes filled the wedding hall. His knees dropped on the ground, his shaking hands embraced her body, his face twisted in grief. He took the same laddu and ate it, choosing to die with her than live without her. And so, their love story ended in a tragedy. Yeah, what a cruel fate.